Well, 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 beautiful people, best damn nation. It is Wednesday, and you know what time it is. It is the best damn wrestling podcast. I am your humble, humble host, Brian Renegade, and with me today we have some special guests of the best damn crew. First of all, uh, this is the episode for the players, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we call it out. We got your boys Pure Temptation in the building making your hot sweat. Ladies, grab your towels. It's about to get moist in the room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is the closest that you're going to get the, the, the chocolate down under. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Dynamite Jackson and the one and only AC Devon. What's man, happening, my so friends? Man, we good, man. How you feeling, bro? Oh man, I'm feeling good. I can't call it. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful day in Zamunda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I got air in my lungs, you know what I mean? There Wrestling you. on my brain. I'm good. What's going on with you guys? Uh, let me go first to Mr. Dynamite Jackson. What's happening? You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. had a good day today. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, ready to ready to get people what they want. <laughs> that boy pulled out that very white voice. <laughs> he pulled out that very white jack. <laughs> good to see you, my brother. Good to see you, uh, Mr. AC. What's happening? Brother, I mean, I'm, I'm doing good too, man. I don't know if you can tell. I got a little, I got a little scratch on my face now, though, from old girl last night. You know, she, oh, okay. I, uh, I thought uh, one of them bum yeah. ass dudes in the ring done scratched you up. I was like, who done hurt? Who done hurt the match tonight? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all messing up the money. <laughs> That's right, man. The money maker right here, bro. Oh man. It's good to have you from the zone, man. Mister Everything will join us in a minute, man. But uh, first. I want to uh, get the people that are watching and the people that are going to watch this thing later and going to listen to this on iHeartRadio and uh, Spotify and Pandora. I want them to get a little bit of information about each one of you guys and how did you guys come together as Pure Temptation. So, uh, Donna Mike Jackson, first first question I got to ask both of y'all guys, man. Uh, and it's a question that I ask all the guests. But okay. when did you fall in love with wrestling? Oh, wow. That's a good question. I mean, I, I have the simplest answer of them all. Uh, I was put in front of it from as soon as I was born. You know, my dad was a big fan. So, I mean, from literally from the moment I could see and speak and walk and talk, you know, what I mean, like I've been put in front of a te television, whether it be Raw, SmackDown or even later when I found out about TNA, like I, it was always it was the one constant in my life something that was always there for me like uh it was it was something that never that ne you know kids always have like you know you like the teenage mutant Ninja turtle one day you like the other thing another day but wrestling was always like the one concept for me my whole life oh man that's that's beautiful man hey see my brother when did you first fall in love with wrestling man i i can remember like it was yesterday bro oh you, you still there yeah, I'm still here. If I if I come out, I'm come back in. I, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, like I said, I, I can still remember it to this day, man. I was watching Rey Mysterio versus John Cena, it's where they had the um, I think he faced the Miz and he beat the Miz, and then it was John Cena and Rey Mysterio later on that night on Monday Night Raw. And man, I I still I think that was the moment they clicked with me. Like I want to do this when I get older. Like if, if I can make the if, if they can make these people have this reaction, I want to do that same thing. And man, I, I, that 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 was the moment for me, bro. Man, you know, I, I always try to figure out um, where the path leads to wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. And I know that when you guys probably first started out, first of all, let's talk about your athletic backgrounds. Do you guys have athletic backgrounds? Let me go with uh, Mr. Dynamite Jackson. I love that name, by the way. <laughs> 
the story behind that, but we can get to that another time. Uh, hey, no, we get to today. <laughs> Don't waste time. <laughs> uh, background. Uh, I played basketball a little bit. Um, in high school, I was on a football team. Uh, the junk, the not the. Uh, I was on. I was on second team. I was on second. I wasn't that good at football. Not still don't know a lot about football, but uh, you was on the field though. You know what I'm saying? You you yeah, you, yeah. Warmed, you at least warmed the bench. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? That's you right. was on the school bus when they left the school. Yeah, they yeah. Don't, that's all that matters. <laughs> Average like three miles per game. I ran a lot, uh, but <laughs> <you know. laughs> but uh, uh, but what I really liked about football is that we were in the weight weight room a lot. You know, just lifting weights a lot, and uh, I was a uh, I had the running back position. So I did a lot of squats, a lot of like leg things, stuff like that. And like being, having that experience with like all of my friends and we're lifting weight, we're having fun. Like that was like, that was probably some of my best, the best experience I had in high school was like doing the sports and staying, you know, active and, you know, things of that nature. Um, let's see, I played basketball a little bit more uh, also during high school for the, uh, the base team. Uh, Seymour Johnson base in Goldsboro. Uh, play with those guys. I love that too. Still not very good. <laughs> those <laughs> good either, but you know, it was it was still fun. You know, this experience is you know the 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 trials and tribulation we went through. You know, as, as a family as a whole. You know, what I mean, that I really enjoyed that. That's that's as much as I got. I wish that um, I had did wrestling in high school. I feel like that would have. Uh, helped a lot you know later especially like now but uh but uh yeah i never got it was the singlets man i didn't want to i did not want to be in those things <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know that's a hard that's a hard decision you know what i'm saying do i want to be in my drawers or do i want to be in the singlet you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, before before you that's a good question and i'm gonna ask you guys later on but because I had to think about, like, if I was a wrestler, would I be comfortable in my drawers or should I wear a singlet? You know what I'm saying? What what goes into that decision of your ring gear? You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and ask that question. Go ahead. What goes into your, your ring gear? Like, when you decide yeah, which yeah. one to wear? I mean, it's I can draw the most money. I can answer. <laughs> I mean, he's got that divine behind. I mean, it's no brainer that That's right. not <laughs> be accentuated. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Oh man! What the, the the ladies love it, man. So you got to wear it. There you go. There you go. Hey, AC, uh, talk talk about some of your uh, your sports background if you have any, or your background yes, period. Sir. Yes, sir. So I I had pediatric cancer when I was little, so I actually wasn't able to play sports as a kid. Um, not until high school is when I got into weightlifting and like I actually experienced being part of a team, um, and then. I started training for wrestling uh, at the end of my um, at the at the the end of high school. So I was in junior and senior year when I first started wrestling training, and that right there just opened up um, everything for me, man. Um, Because that I was already about ten years in remission when I started my my wrestling training. Um, So uh, everything was good. I was healthy. I was able to take bumps, do all that, take take the big risk that I wasn't able to. You know, 10 years prior, let's say if I wanted to play football or basketball. Um, so I've, yeah. I've always had, you know, experience in, in, in the gym or uh, li- lifting weights, whatever, but I wasn't able to fully play sports, if that makes sense. Yeah, that, that does make sense. And uh, you, you, you have a, a very unique story, but um, it's a lot of people that are getting into wrestling now that share similar stories, not as far as, you know, uh, the, the cancer part, but as far as having illnesses, you know what I'm saying, and trying to overcome yeah. those illnesses, um, it's very inspiring. And I think that that is you stuff that you're doing right now. You're going to inspire those kids that grew up like you, and you know what I'm saying uh, they're going to see you on TV, man. They were like, man, it, that guy is so inspiring to me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, keep on doing what you're doing, my brother. 